This video will talk about modes. For AP Music Theory, there are seven modes that you need to memorize. Ionian, which is the same as the major scale, Dorian, Phrygian, Lydian, Mixolydian, Aeolian, which is the same as the natural minor scale, and Locrian. Now, it's much easier than it seems to memorize and understand all these modes. Uh, and there are different techniques in sort of playing them and understanding them. So I'm going to show you the easiest one first. So if you can see over here, these are all notes that exist in the C major scale. There are no accidentals or anything. So we have C to C is Ionian, D to D is Dorian, and so forth. So if someone asks for a E Phrygian scale, tell me the notes in an E Phrygian scale, you would start with E and go to E using the notes from the C major scale. And so that's easy. So um, I'm actually going to test you now and you'll pause the video. I would like you to write down um, on a piece of manuscript paper the G Mixolydian scale. Do that now. Okay, you should have what's um, seen right here is G, A, B, C, D, E, F, G. So it's a C major scale starting on G. Now when we start having different starting notes than these notes here, it starts getting a little more confusing. So let's try to do another one. Let's, instead of Dorian starting on D, let's say I want a Dorian scale starting on A. So what you would do is you look over here to Dorian and you would say Dorian starts on the second scale degree. See the two there? So A is the second scale degree of what major scale? And the answer is what? The answer is G major. A is the second scale degree of G major. So you'd write a G major scale starting on A. So that's what this chart is over here. We have C as the starting note. So C, obviously, is the starting note of C major, Ionian. Dorian, C is the second scale degree of B flat major. So this is a B flat major scale right here, uh, starting on C. Phrygian um, is the third scale degree. So C is the third scale degree of A flat major. Here, Lydian is the four. So C is the fourth scale degree of G major, hence the key signature. Um, Mixolydian is, starts on the 5, and that, uh, so C is the fifth note of the F major scale. Aeolian is 6, um, so C is the sixth note of the E flat major scale. And then Locrian is the seventh, so C is the seventh scale degree of D flat major. There are two other ways to think about modes. And um, for the AP test, probably the way I just told you is the best way. But there are other ways, um, and they can be useful so depending on the question, and so you should be familiar with them a little bit. The first one, obviously, if you know that Ionian is, Ionian is major and Aeolian is natural minor, that's easy. So if someone asks for an F Aeolian scale, you don't have to think F is the sixth scale degree of what major key you could just write an F natural minor scale. So let's, so we're going to write major here. Ah, and we'll do um, natural minor there. And some other tricks. Mixolydian is often known for as being a major scale with a flat seven. So you can memorize that flat seven, which is a little bit easier uh, to memorize sometimes then you know if I were to ask for example what is a D mixolydian scale um, well D is you would have to say D is the fifth scale degree of what majors key and that's um, G major so you'd write a G major scale starting on D but it might just be easier to think of mixolydian as a major scale with a flat seven so you just do a D major scale and not sharp to C on the C sharp so that's that one. That's how I like to memorize that one. 
Dorian can be thought of as a natural minor scale with a sharp six, and there are other ways to think about it, but then you have a lot of information in your brain uh, to start remembering. Oh, yes, one last one that's sort of easy. I like to think of Lydian as a major scale with a sharp four. And that has a very sort of unique sound. So these are the only ones that I do. Ionian, Lydian, and Mixolydian, Aeolian. I use the knowledge of this being major, this being natural minor, this having a flat seven, this having a sharp four. The rest have other tricks that people memorize, but I just I just go back to this system here to um, to figure them out easily, and I find that that's that's a quicker way to do it and an easier way to play it too for most instruments except perhaps guitar. The last way that people think about scales is sometimes using a half step whole step method. So, for example, let me um, hold on just a minute. Many people are trained about the intervals in the major scale being whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step. So it's uh, the major scale, uh, and they define the half steps there. And then Dorian is um, sort of the same, but the half steps bump down. Um, actually, to the half steps bump down to here. And here, and you can see the pattern here. Here's the half. The half steps are here and here. So there are patterns that exist all over the place. And but memorizing the half step patterns for seven different scales to me is too much to memorize. It's easier just to memorize that Dorian goes on a two, Phrygian on a three, Lydian on a four, Mixolydian on a five, etc. Um, however, it is there are some unique what I find unique is the half steps uh, relationship at the beginning of the scale. So both Phrygian and Locrian have that half step. Let me switch to a different color here. Um, they have that half step right at the beginning of the scale. That the C to the D flat here, and like that. And that gives a really unique sort of um, Middle Eastern sound. Um, that uh, makes them easily identifiable. So if you have a question where um, you have to listen to something or look at music and, uh, and say what mode it is, often these half, the half step at the beginning of the scale will clue you into Phrygian or Locrian scale. The last thing I'll mention is a little confusion that often arises by using my trick. The first thing to say is Saying that Lydian is a major scale, start, you know, Lydian is um, the fourth scale degree of a major scale, that is just a trick. Um, the way that these uh, modes are meant to be thought of as is this is a tonic and this is its own sort of unique, you know, half step and whole step relation and it has its own color. It has no real connection to the major scale except for convenience in terms of figuring it out. So a lot of kids say, if I asked them for, let's say, an F Dorian scale, they would be like, um, does that mean that we use F major and then start on a G, or do you then you start on a, a, on a F? And the, que the answer is you start on an F. If they ask for F Dorian, it starts on an F. It doesn't, the little trick does not affect, you know, you don't start on a G or something. So F Dorian, of course, would be the second scale degree of what major key? I hope you answered E flat. If you answered E, it's actually incorrect because um, in a major scale there is a whole step between the first and second scale degrees. A little bit of a trick. That often that problem also exists if you're asking for something like the C Dorian scale. You're going to be basing it off of what major key? B flat, right? So a, um, a C Dorian scale. Um, go ahead and get out a piece of paper. You don't have to be manuscript paper, but write me a C Dorian scale, please. Uh, you can pause the video now. And you should have written C, D, E flat, F, G, A, B flat, and C. So you're basing it off the B flat major scale. C Dorian has those notes in it. Lastly, we're going to talk about the sounds of the modes. We'll start with Ionian, of course. Uh, you're very familiar with this. It's the major scale. Uh, 
Now uh, let's go to Dorian. Dorian has sort of a jazzy uh, modal sound. You notice uh, it has that flat seven, which uh, makes it not sound like music from the common practice period, like Baroque or classical. It's maybe um, Renaissance or medieval music or jazz. Uh, let's go to Phrygian. Phrygian, uh, like I said before, has sort of a Eastern or Middle Eastern feel because of the flat two. Sounds sort of like this. And you notice that I established the tonic by sort of circling the note instead of just uh, play, playing random notes like that. And Lydian um, has a sort of fairy-like or fantasy sound, and uh, it sounds like this. And as we said before, the sharp four is what really stands out for Lydian. So if you're listening to a piece of music and you hear that tritone, Mixolydian is one of the most common scales used in jazz, um, and it sounds like this. Um, and Aeolian is next, uh, which is natural minor, you know that. And then Locrian is uh, one of the most difficult scales to sort of interpret, excuse me, for the Western ear. It sort of sounds like this. So those are uh, just a Brief exam just a few examples of how the modes sound.